and we didn't have anything planned for this video. What's up? So, we have to post tomorrow, which is Thursday. Today's Wednesday. And we didn't have anything planned for this video. And we decided that we are going to show you, tell you, what our two, two top things are on our bucket list. We chose our top two because wait, I want to make the editing super easy. I want to make everything as easy and simple as possible. So... I will come back on here when we get set up. Okay, so we are going to be talking about our bucket list. We're making this really short because we're kind of running out of time. We've given you guys some really long vlogs here the past few weeks. Yeah, and we kind of want to shorten things up this week, keep it simple. It's going to be a Thursday vlog, very basic. Monday we have some fun stuff, so. Be a, Monday's probably gonna be a long one as it is, so. So the very first thing on the top of my list is to skydive. Actually really crazy, cause like, I don't wanna say I hate heights, I just don't like them. Like, I can go on roller coasters and I'm fine. But like, realistically, I kinda get scared at the top of things. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm okay. Like, I don't like have a panic attack. But yeah, so I really want to skydive. Like I want to go like really high in the air and I just want to free fall. I think it's a really, I think I love watching videos like with people on their GoPros on like their helmets and stuff. Like that's a dream. So if you think that that's one of yours, comment down below. Like, I, I would love to be able to go skydiving with Soraya. I would love to. No, he wouldn't. He's but scared of that stuff. I am pet. He closes his eyes going up the monster at Adventureland. I am petrified of heights. I love the monster. I just can't stand looking straight up. Now when I get to the top of the hill, I open my eyes and that's different. But yeah, but you're gonna look down on an airplane and they're gonna be like three, two, one, and then you're gonna be like. See, that's the thing. I don't, I don't <laughs> you know do if it. I could. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you would. Even, you could go to the top with me and come down. Like they'll fly you back down. Yeah, but I mean, if I go up to the top though, I might. I have friends that'll do it with me, so I'm not too concerned. Like I'm not doing it alone. I know I won't do it alone, but like if I had friends that go with me, I'd be like, oh yeah, let's do it. I have like two friends and we don't have time to go to <laughs> skydiving. What's the top on your bucket list? So speaking of reporting the news, <laughs> the very top thing on my bucket list would be to attend a national political convention. Not necessarily as a journalist, maybe just as a delegate, but would be to attend a national political convention. A national political convention would be, they happen every four, four years, and that's where they formally nominate someone for the Republicans formally nominate someone for president. The Democrats formally nominate nominate someone for pre for president. So when you have the caucuses and all the states do their individual primaries, all you're doing really is selecting delegates to go to the national convention. Makes just no like sense. just like when you vote for president, you're really just voting for electors who go to the electoral college and vote then. We'll do that history lesson later on though. Um, but they're really really cool. They're like four day events. It's a big party building thing, and they're just really for a political geek like me, it's like, a, it'd be a dream come true to be able to go. And there's never really been one close enough for me to, to go. So, okay. Second one is very obvious, I think, for me. Because I literally say this all the time. But, to travel the world. Like, I don't think a lot of people get the opportunity to do that. And I don't even know if I'll be able to go everywhere I want to, but that's like a huge goal of mine. Like I cross off like a lot of places in one year to go and I do it. Like I try to do it at least. Money is obviously a thing and we have full time jobs so I can't just like go anywhere I want to. So I would love to travel the world. I think that, like I said, a lot of people don't get to do that. So it's really important to me to do that. And, and like that's a huge reason I have this tattoo on my arm because it's like adventure and traveling and my favorite Disney movie is Up, if you didn't know. And 
I 100% believe that no matter where you go, you're going to find an adventure. Like, I, that's why I hate sitting inside. I hate being inside all the time because there's always an adventure out there. Mine would probably be to visit all of the Revolutionary War battle sites and just historical um, sites. Yeah. So that'd be like... In, the one that's at the top of my list, and it's not necessarily, some would say that's not part of the Revolutionary War, but it's it's what led to that, and, and that'd be visiting Independence Hall, where the Declaration of Independence was Yeah, um, that would be so on. interesting. Yeah, I mean, the Continental Congress voted on and signed the Declaration there, and I would love to visit that. Um, I'd love to visit this the, the, site, the battle sites um, where the Revolutionary War was fought. I mean, that was, there was just, there was just something about thinking about how this little citizen militia defeated the greatest empire in the world at the time and became its own independent nation. Everyone knows that I'm a history geek and stuff like that is like really, really near and dear to me. I don't think we put enough, I don't think we teach it enough in schools, quite honestly, of the reasons why it all happened. Okay guys, so this is a really really short video, like really short, but we needed that and we needed a little one. So hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up right down here. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your ring notifications. Make sure you keep those suggestions coming to us too. Yeah, let us know what you want to see. Like if you like the talking videos, if you like the interactive videos, if you like the whole thing like where we're out and about or just let us know because like that's huge to us if you want to see more of like our animals if you want to see more about us or more about our friends more about our family let us know if you that's... want to hear more about our story yeah let us know that's huge so please comment down below any of what we just said we're gonna have a different one on monday state fairs this weekend so you know maybe we'll go up there maybe we'll go to the fair this weekend see the butter cow the yeah. butter cow and the big bowl and just eat all this food just dripping with grease fat. and saturated fat that encompasses all of Iowa. So, thank you guys again for watching and... We say toodaloo to all of you out there in vlog land. And thank you for watching the Comfort Vlog.